conference dedicated to contemporary iconography, and I'm happy to present to iconographers George Cordes, Todor Mitrovic, and Komai Mihai. So the main subject to start with is what a contemporary icon should be like. Yes, this is the essential. I I hope that the uh, that the George starts. <laughs> this is my this yes. is my proposal. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I have told I have already told you the last time that uh, um, for me it's uh, quite difficult to define what exactly you know is the meaning of contemporary uh, let's say in, uh, even in this in secular art today it's not something really clear what contemporary means uh, it's an empty word for me so uh, in uh, I can, I, and I'm not sure that we can apply this way of thinking in uh, iconography. Talking about contemporary icons, uh, I I don't know. It's a, it's it's a very very difficult uh, I don't know question. Uh, maybe we could say simply uh, how our icons could live um, in and serve you know the church of today that would be more simple because contemporary has a specific meaning and i i think that it confuses us i don't know that's my my opinion just an introduction be, before we start talking on the on subject what do you think well, I, I, I do agree that even in secular art, the concept of being contemporary or contemporaneous or how it's called is a bit problematic already. I mean, uh, I mean the, uh, in, in my opinion, in my experience, the postmodernism, uh, the, the postmodern turn has changed the, the image of being contemporary ra radical so uh, i mean uh, art do not have to be up to date at all it's not it's not pr a problem even in a secular art so um, for the beginning this makes a good uh, a good platform for dialogue uh, for i don't know for for thinking about church art as art of this moment, for example. So, or as you said, uh, the, the art that is needed today in the church. But uh, I will continue with next question. We, uh, uh, how church needs art today? Do you have this uh, idea about this? Uh, how church? Uh, what is the? What is th that church needs in artistic realms, or even I would make it wider. Uh, do church? How much church needs art today? <laughs> I would try to to say it, to say it in in other words. Uh, I have a feeling that. Uh, it, uh, we always think about uh, art because we are artists that it is very very important thing but do you have the feeling that church in general or the church uh, uh, as represented by its hierarchy uh, needs art as we think it's necessary this is my my question in past few years, I would say. It, is the, this need as huge as, as, as we would all agree, probably? Phil, what do you think? Well, I think <clears throat> theologians consider theology to be the most important part of human life, and the 
plumbers would consider consider their work to be very essential. So every profession thinks they are most important. In this case, I would rather try to shift towards the preferences among those who make the orders. Like if you have two artists in front of you, if you're a priest, what kind of church art would you want to order? And here we come to the question of visual education of our priests and our hierarchy. Uh, yeah, b before that, I think that um, the question that uh, Todor uh, puts, uh, it, it, it is essential. But uh, uh, I believe if we see the church, you know, in centuries, um, church never defined anything about any art. That means that for church life, uh, you know, from a dogmatic point of view, Art, arts generally, and of course our art, okay, the iconography, is not an essential issue. It's something that it's it's not essential. Maybe the icon, it is essential, but not the art of icons, which is not identical. It is not identical. That's that's the issue. Well. It's it's crucial to to to, to talk about that because um, <laughs> if our work is not so essential, so fundamental, so maybe we have to you know to feel more free uh, to, to do things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. If if, if it's something so heavy. You know, dogmatically, you know, it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. really difficult to handle. It's really difficult to produce, to touch, to yeah, touch yeah. up, produce agree. something, I, I, you know, produce something new. Well, I, I would, I, I would know. try, this, I would try to. to this is this is wonderful what you what you say. Uh, I was ne never thinking from this point of view, but uh, but. Uh, uh, this this uh, this makes me think that uh, we should define art as something define okay not define art cannot be defined but think about it's art neither. describe it uh, that it is it is something uh, 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 that is necessary in a non essential way or something like this. <laughs> we uh, it, the art this makes actually a definition kind of definition of art because because it is uh, art is something that is very hard to define in any in any point it, also in church so uh, it is a kind of uh, unneeded uh, necessity something like this <laughs> not not is the it, not, well is it a, is it a necessity for example, for example, for centuries, there was no painting in the church, and church was real church. Yeah, it was okay without. It. There was yeah. nothing missing over there. There was no yeah. singing. There was no architecture. No poetry. There was nothing, and the church was there. Well, so, I doubt. I doubt that, George. We just don't have many. I don't know sources and real. Um, pieces of imagery but things existed they yeah, yeah i think that, that need, need existed i think that no, need we, existed. we don't we don't know about the first the first two centuries it's almost it's almost positive that there was no art in you know in worship places it was difficult that there was no nothing there was almost nothing but and, and definitely there, there was no chanting. That's uh, we have we have documents on that, not before four, four, fifth century. Okay, but first we have catacombs, and second, we cannot imagine the human of ancient world without art at all. Remember the Pompeii houses and any piece of culture you find in caves anywhere, you find everything, not highly decorated, 
but somehow elaborate from point of view of art of crafts or craftsmanship. Okay, okay, let's 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 go to the very very beginning, the Last Supper, the first Eucharist. There was no art over there, <laughs> and it was it was Eucharist, Eucharist. church over there. So art is not okay. I, I understand. I I I am with you. Definitely, I am yeah, with yeah, you. But I understand also <laughs> your point. Yeah. It, it's it's it good. It's good to, to let's say to define our role in church life. If we don't do that, I I I, I am afraid that most of our problems derive exactly from that. That our role is not properly defined in church life. That's why I we agree. have so many problems. Yeah, this is this is very important. This is very good what you what you say. I I, I agree, I agree, and uh, there is an essential an essential okay. Let's say uh, important point that you that you put here uh, because there is truly a difference, a huge difference between art and the Eucharist and me, medieval ages. Tell this uh, on different levels, uh, but uh, there is also uh, there is also an, an, an interesting detail that uh, I found in I don't know any researches from domain of art history uh, that at some point somewhere in 12th let, let's say century 11th 12th that actually icons uh, became the 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 focus of uh, 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 lay piety. Uh, I mean, the uh, more than Eucharist, because Eucharist was forbidden, as we all know. I mean, it was prohibited, not forbidden, but uh, really, really seriously prohibited uh, in East and West as well. So, uh, so it's strange. Uh, I, I have been discussing this in some researches, and uh, I ha had I came to idea that during the history we can uh, discuss uh, the liturgical life of church we can we can uh, take a look at the liturgical life uh, of the church uh, at on two 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 levels i would say uh, the heavy presence of eucharist eucharist was considered as a kind of heavy presence the real presence of christ and a very interesting thing uh, uh, happens during the, the uh, iconoclastic dispute. Uh, actually, uh, when uh, iconoclasts said that uh, a Eucharist is a real icon of Christ, icons are not correct because only Eucharist is a real icon of Christ. Then uh, uh, the defenders of icon came, came to a brilliant turn, you know, brilliant ingenious turn, but it, it was actually a philosophical turn. They say, say something like this, uh, God save us from this, Eucharist is not an icon. <laughs> Eucharist is a real presence of Christ. It is Christ, this it's is not a, the icon, yeah. icon of Christ. Yes. This is brilliant thought. I mean, this is in, in I mean, this is a Co Copernican term, but this makes uh, a strong difference between these two uh, aspects of church life. You know, and uh, somehow, uh, it, this, is, this is my uh, my opinion on this history, somehow Eucharist becomes burdened by this very heavy presence because before iconoclasm, Eucharist was also taught about in also in a symbolic way, in iconic way, in different ways. After iconoclasm, it became becomes the pure and essential uh, presence of Christ without any other way to discuss this. And icons come on the, uh, let's say, lighter position, the light presence. I, I would call this the light presence of Christ. Is Something like right? this. It's the mm -hmm. high and high and uh, lower no, no, place no no no, 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 like, no. We, we must not correlate the icon and eucharist 
Eucharist is Christ. The icon is icon. It's not essence. It's no, clear. No, of course, of course clear. yeah. Of course, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. it became clear after this term. I mean, it became clear. Yes, yes definitely, yes. After yeah. iconography, these are clear, you know, definitely, yes. Yeah, so, so this is, as you said, uh, our, our, uh, the position of art in church also uh, uh, is actually is not uh, essential in the way Eucharist is. No, definitely not, of course. Which, which, which give, gives us, as you said, which gives us much freedom, <laughs> much more freedom. This is, kind this is what I know. said okay uh, there was no there was no uh, really art as we think about art at the beginnings but let me let me remind you one thing uh, you uh, the the liturgical texts are poetry are always poetry liturgical uh, litur liturgy is served in a hymnographic manner and I think it starts already at the very beginnings. So uh, art is there in one or another way. <laughs> okay, but it's okay. Uh, there was definitely, there was a, a uh, I would say, a mode of existence. You know, they, you know, they, in, in, in Greco-Roman world, okay, there was much art everywhere, all around. Yeah, it was everywhere. So, <laughs> church should follow, you know, this mode of existence. So they followed, but definitely they didn't care a lot about that. Yeah, it's true. I, I agree. I agree with this. I agree with this, but, but uh, let's say uh, that this actually defines art it art it is some uh, something similar as as in contemporary world you know art is uh, not a necessary thing but without without art life becomes i mean empty <laughs> and we can see it on every step i mean uh, philip has posted a nice thought about this try to imagine your life in these days without you know without art without films without without literature without images well, we we need art because we don't have actually inner life <laughs> that's our problem <laughs> we need <laughs> art because otherwise we would be become crazy <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that's what the Nietzsche was saying because yeah of course. we don't have inner life an ascetic for example who lives in a desert doesn't need any art. Doesn't need any art. He's because okay he, with his prayer. Well, art is support in our case. Yeah. Art is, that's, a, that is, is, that's a question, Philip. Does, I think it is not. That, I think it's, well, a, it's a possibility, it's a form in which yes, many things yes. are much better accepted by us. Yeah, good and support that, or not? No, it is. I, I believe it's, it's an important piece. It's not essential, but it's quite important in order to declare the identity of the iconized. If we don't, um, we, if each one of us imagines Christ's face in his own personal way, we will have a very egoist, <laughs> egoistic religion or way to approach or relation. We, the, the icon somehow shows one identity and unites the believers in front of this I, I, visual identity. Uh, otherwise, we, we won't be united <laughs> in, in, in visual um, way, let's say so. Mihai, this is the, this is the idea, but <laughs> that's the idea. This, that should be the role of art, but, but is this happening? Is this happening? <laughs> That's a question. Yes, 
uh, as as long as uh, much as uh, all of us uh, we, we recognize Christ's face on a board or on on a wall painting, it it functions. Yes, it, it, it unites us in that image. It's it's the yeah, belief. but someone could tell you that uh, if we had a photograph, that's okay. The photograph is doing this thing. It's so not exactly. When, Yes, exactly. So all of us we recognize the same this person. That's okay. Yes. Well, so what is your art? <laughs> it's ah. a tricky question. Yes, it, it it started like that because in the in the old ages they didn't have photographs, so they had to paint mm -hmm. the, the face, the portrait, in order to have the same um, appearance, the same likeness. Okay. Now we have photographs. The problem of the photograph is like, um, is that it's an anamnetic image. And it's circumscribed, the, the one it described in a certain place, topos, which is not accessible, which is probably, it's, it's difficult and it can identify the, the one who's uh, photographed in that context, which is strange, it, it's different with the, uh, your or my reality okay so it, this uh, somehow uh, put some borders be between the unity of, of the of ourselves which are participating to the same image of christ okay. yeah, so I, I i propose that 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 the, the icon to be seen as um, not um, artifact uh, uh, delivered to the clergy, but delivered to the community, to churches seen as a community of people. And it's important for this community to have the icon. M more important that, of course, um, I agree with the, um, the aspect of freedom, because freedom is essential in, in uh, building a community. You, if you don't adhere by um, freedom to one community, you, you are not in communion with the others. Freedom, it's, it's the, the base of, of, of everything. And it's a base, it should be the base for iconography because otherwise you deny the, the, the communion of those. If you impose a certain rule, then the relationship between the members of the com community, it's not free. It, it should be based on, on freedom, first of all. And second, of, of course, of, it should be based on love, which is very difficult to achieve. <laughs> but, okay, we have to have ideals, anyhow. <laughs> I mean, we have to have the, the, the goal, some, something like, like which, is, which is the, which, uh, uh, which Mihai says. Uh, something that is ideal image of what we what we strive for. So, but yeah. I think I think also okay. This is my this is what I feel. Not really think that even if uh, they had phot photographs in let's say in the beginning of our era, uh, I think that even even with photographs, uh, icons would appear in some kind of similar way they uh, they appeared because because ph photographs are I don't know mm -hmm. photographs are always always missing something in my opinion. Uh, 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 icon needs to have something more than photographs so. I oh, guess I think would appear. I think so, Ricardo, for interrupting. I think there no. could be more iconic photographs. Like now, for some famous person, there are certain I don't know number of photographs which are considered by everyone most successful and mostly diffused. Yes, yes, yes. Well, okay, it was done with photographs. The iconic photographs truly exist. I mean. It was uh, there. Are, there are photographs that became a symbols actually. But, uh, it it is it it is made through a kind of cleaning of the image. You know, uh, we we all know. I don't know famous images 
of Che Guevara or who, whoever, the, the Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels. I mean, it, it, uh, they, they in, in some, one or another way, they have to be uh, made uh, an icons uh, or to, made, to be made, made uh, I would say to be made an art. <laughs> Somebody here, the, the, uh, there is always a human intervention. There is a need, okay, not, not all, there is a need for this kind. Of, uh, why? Why, I why there is a need? I don't know, it, it, it just happened. <laughs> well, if During you want to have a photograph of your friend on your desk, you will choose among the 15 photographs the one which you prefer, the one which is talking to you most and most characteristic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's the same yeah. thing was happening with icons. Artists did what now photographers do. You invite the best photographer to take the best photograph. So this is the art. So George, mm -hmm. I'm not with you. We do need art. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course we, we, of course we need art, but it's, um, I, I'm afraid it's a bit complicated uh, to find, the, you know, our role. How wrong yes, is I understand what you say. I understand yes. it's, uh, actually, 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 what you are point, pointing to. Yeah, yeah. that's my it, that's my question. I'm not questioning, you know, the necessity of art. Definitely, you no. Know. But uh, we need to, let's say, describe anyway or put a framework of, of our role. Because it, it's, it's not really clear, you know. Mihai was telling us before about, you know, this uh, function of unity of icons, all right. But uh, if we, we, we try to do something new, something that it's, it's a known to public or to members of the church, actually we break this unity because some people like and some they don't. So immediately we have a kind of a schism in church. Aesthetic schism, right? We already have that. <laughs> yes, of course we have. So, so what, what would this do This is a really good answer. <laughs> you are what, really we do, what, what we are going to do? So that's that that's a real question. I that's a real question. This uh, phenomenal schism uh, regarding the images, good step. We it's a step in an evol in an evolution of re regaining. The, the sense of the images because now uh, we, we're turning um, after two centuries, more than two centuries of realis realistic art to Byzantine system, which uh, is mostly um, a fashion. Um, it's based, on, it's a fashion in church. Yeah. Yeah. Very okay. few of the, of, the, of the priests and uh, of the believers are understanding the reason uh, um, for this um, choice, okay. So maybe uh, this, uh, this discussion, ba based on new proposal, um, can help everybody understand um, how the, the icon should be in order to work, to 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 be useful for the community. Okay, it's a very good question for us to discuss. What are the properties, what are the qualities an image has to possess to be an icon? Well, that's, that's a good question, yeah? It's a huge <laughs> question. <laughs> a well, and big, big question. I have something uh, to share. I may share it now, I may share it later. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I found some image in the internet. I don't know who made it. I just found it. And I wish my students to answer the question, whether should we consider that to be an icon? Should we not? And what are the objections of someone who would say, well, no, it's not an icon. Well. Everybody's silent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Am I shocking you? Sorry. No, no, no. We're not shocked. No. Definitely not. It's hard mm -hmm. to be shocked in, in these days. Well, in these days. Uh, well, I don't know. Part of answer lies in what Michael just says. Said uh, there is uh, 
uh, we have a fashion of doing doing things in in some way but this fashion is not just a fashion uh, it is something that is generally and widely accepted by the church a kind of the style that that dominates it used to be accepted this this used to be accepted but it's not accepted now i mean nobody 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 paints icons like this anymore in orthodox church generally maybe maybe in some small communities i don't know. so yeah but <laughs> that's is it the criterion to have an image accepted by the parish or not <laughs> no what, what what you say is the fashion a criterion no no it, uh, no, no, no. It, uh, the criteria, is it the, the, a criterion that today nobody paints like that? It's not. Because yeah. for, cen no, for, no. Let's say for centuries in Russia, from for centuries, nobody was painting in Byzantine, let's say Byzantine yeah, Russian of stuff. Course, of course. So yeah. in, in that sense, this style is not iconic because it was not in, you know, in, in use. Uh, so yeah. but, uh, what's the importance of the style in icon then because well, is it essential the style because the style changed to, to, throughout the centuries and mm -hmm. the geographical areas uh, mm -hmm. to go to romania or to greece there, there are different styles quite mm -hmm. important differences <clears throat> and if personally, you personal, personally if this person had a hello and there was the inscription Jesus Christ. I wouldn't have any, any, any hesitation to prostrate and venerate this as an icon. Hmm. Okay, George, I have another option for you. Just mm -hmm. a moment. Uh, hmm, this doesn't have letters anyhow. Well, let me show you this one. Three, two, one. It could have the title. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So would that be accepted as an image which we can fully call as, I don't know, image with rights of an icon? Yes, yes. yes. I, I, I can, <clears throat> I, I want to make a point here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. There is only one uh, stylistic solution for the good icon, for the contemporary, for the nowadays. The so. icon we need today, there's only one stylistic option. I believe that this is a very, uh, should be much wider. We cannot stop or put some borders, some stylistic borders to, to icon uh, for today. Okay. Maybe in Egypt, we, we meet some um, Egypt, Egyptian iconographers that, that, uh, last spring, and they had totally different approach um, with some pietistic i don't know uh, features of, of of image which would seem quite uh, too sweet <laughs> for our countries for, for romania yeah. for instance they, they should be judged like come on this is much too yeah. sweet. <laughs> put some salt in it <laughs> you know mm -hmm. uh, yeah. but for 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 them it was it was very liturgic it was quite functional you know uh, so how I am not a, I'm not able to judge or to, to differentiate the, these two realities because they have their uh, personality as a community. They're, they're different, di different culture, different culture. Exactly, exactly. So we cannot force them to 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 follow our, our um, recipe, stylistic recipe, let's say. Uh, because the, their prayers are different in, in, in a way, as, as um, poetry. It's a different poetry, it's a different style. We have, after all, we have three sent litur uh, the liturgies, three, three, three kinds, not only one. This is not absolute, only up, what do we have only one prayer, the absolute prayer. We have many prayers, different prayers for the same need. You know, yeah. why yes, is that? Mihai, yes, because, but on the other hand, on the other hand, this 
let's say if we accept this diversity of styles, right, let's say this freedom in styles, okay, mm -hmm. so that means that uh, there is no criterion for an icon, everything, every mode, everything, every style is okay, it's good, is it? St. Paul said that everything is allowed it. <laughs> as freedom, but not everything is useful. Exactly. Right. Yes. So everything is allowed, but not everything is useful. It applies, I believe, to icon also. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, and I think that I think that we have to. I think that we have to accept uh, that uh, as uh, you know, as as a, a principle, we have to, to accept this freedom you are talking about. Yes, there is no specific language, no specific style. Okay, this is the principle. But on the other hand, we have to go back and start looking for, uh, I would, I don't know, uh, for something behind this diversity of styles, something that unifies all these expressions. Because I believe that if all these styles are a fruit of ecclesiastical experience, there is something that unifies them. There is something that in common. And this is something, and this something is a criterion. Otherwise, we are lost. We, uh, anybody can do anything, you know, so, and it must be acceptable. I don't think that it's, it works. It's, it's, it, it, it should not work like that. In, in my opinion, the, the, the criteria should, should be very clear in, in the very specific direction. Okay. The icon, the destination, it's uh, for the believer to be connected with the presence of God. So, the language should be accorded with the characteristics the main characteristic of, of um, God's re reality is, although it sounds very, very philosophical. Now, uh, let, let's say it in a more simple way. The ecclesiastical ethos, the way of living in church, it's in much, it should be in accordance with God's reality. We act there as if God is present, as in God's presence. Okay, so but we, we are relating to the others as uh, God is also present. So it's a three-part relationship, isn't it? And according to this, I, I shouldn't um, opt, opt for, for, for a plastic solution that goes uh, otherwise, that serves uh, my ambition as a painter only. Yeah, but who defines that? Hmm? Yes, and who also I think this gentleman also wanted to share his way of living under God our Lord, and that was his understanding how the image of Christ should be, should look like. So would you say it's okay or not, and according to what do you say that? I'm, I'm not sure that we will be able to define this precisely. I think that the goal uh, which, which George uh, uh, speaks about is absolutely necessary. I think we, we have to have this kind of goal. But uh, uh, I don't think we will be able to define it exactly in, uh, let's say, theoretical way. Uh, we uh, uh, we, we can discuss uh, it in theoretical way. We can point to it uh, up to some level of precision, but to define it precisely, I think it's, it's hard because we are speaking about the pictorial phenomena, the visual phenomena, which, uh, which cannot be precisely termino terminologically uh, <clears throat> defined and described. So yeah, I agree with the goal, but I'm, I'm yet, I will, I will leave, I think we have to leave a, a space for, let's say, 
uh, I don't know, a space for, let's say, mystery inside of this. I don't, I don't often use this word. <laughs> or space for dispute. <laughs> the, the space, space for, for dispute, dispute. <laughs> for yeah. discussion and maybe yeah, yeah. This, this, no, this, this space, this space, yeah. we already, already, <laughs> we came because of this space. <laughs> No, 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 not be to, not between us, but in the ecclesiastical body. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. There was, I am afraid that that dispute, there was always, you know, existed. Because yeah. all the time people liked or didn't like, and they preferred yes. that and not something oh. else. And there was, there was a movement, there was a movement. So that's, that's normal, I suppose. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I I don't know. Anyhow, I th my opinion about the the necessity of 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 art and necessity of this kind of this dispute is uh, uh, is actually that. Uh, Church, uh, as 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 we cannot define precisely uh, the 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 mode, the the way way of uh, the, the ideal way of painting, uh, the same way uh, we cannot we cannot define uh, what is the place uh, of art in church. It is something uh, that is connected with uh, with. Uh, with just with life, it's very very hard to to to, to you know to, to to point to it. Art emerges uh, like life; it's it it emerges uh, unexpectedly. But I think this is exactly uh, what uh, why why art is important. And I I was thinking before we started this discussion. That actually, uh, maybe we should also think about the need, uh, the uh, the not only uh, the necessity of theory to define art, or let's say necessity of theology, which could help us understand art. Uh, I think also th theology uh, needs an artistic way of thinking. Beautiful. This is also what what I, I I'm missing, missing in in contemporary contemporary ecclesiastical life and also in in uh, understanding of art. I mean, uh, which is which is this artistic way of thinking? Yes, which is this? Uh, this is the, this is the one that can cannot be defined actually <laughs> exactly, <laughs> but anyhow, it can be. It exists. Uh, what what do, what do I think about? Uh, uh, <clears throat> I think think about uh, uh, exactly uh, uh, to, uh, about being opened uh, for a new event, for a new new uh, new new modes of expression or thinking this is what art art asks you know you, you told it exactly very precisely art uh, uh, always put us to some kind of aesthetical schism this is beautiful term which, which you use you know. <laughs> well not everybody thinks it's beautiful but it's a good point uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think it's yeah. very very good exactly. very good very good thought because you know uh, art when, when new something new happens Exactly what you what you, you you defined it really precisely. When something new happens, uh, we always have a quarrel. Is this good? Is this not? Is this nice? Is this beautiful or, or not? Is this ecclesiastical or not? Yes. But exactly this kind of this way of thinking, you know, to be, being uh, being opened, open-minded, be open-minded, be open to expect new events, you know. This is something which artistic, uh, artistic uh, way of communication uh, proposes to us. You know, uh, yes, art, new, art. Okay, new, new, new is, 
what is new? <laughs> new no, could no, be no, anything, no, could be anything. No, any no, 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 is, no, any, no. is any direction okay? No, 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 I'm not, uh, not speaking about this, absolutely. I'm not speaking about being about new by, by, by itself. I'm, I'm also, I, I told that art also, also needs theology. And art also needs need, need thinking about its direction. But I, I said what art offers. I mean, what art uh, essentially, essentially offers to the church, to the ecclesiastical life, you know what artistic way of thinking can offer, uh, even though it is, it is a, a kind of uh, contemporary way of thinking. You know, in, in Middle Ages or in ancient times, people were not thinking in this way. They were not expect, expecting new art. You know, they were not waiting for news. This, this happens in, in 20th century, of course. But anyway, well, no, no, I'm not were, sure. Anyway, I'm not sure. Anyway, but they were acting artistically. I think they were they were acting because otherwise we would not have a different style. Otherwise, what we would what, what what artistically means? Is it creatively? Okay? What about creatively? Yes, no. To be creative, okay. Let's say to be creative. Creative, creative means what? Means nothing. It's an empty word. Yes, yes, and no. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, okay, uh, if uh, let's say creativity brings new entities to the world. Okay, let's do it in, in this way. Let's say say it in this way. But yeah, uh, but this this new entity could be wrong. Could be yeah, a really bad no, no, choice. A very bad path. Uh, and being could, could damage, could damage, you yeah. know, ecclesiastical life. Could, of, of course, of course. No, I'm. Uh, I, I do not say that there is there is uh, uh, not a good and a bad solution. Not a good and a bad art. I'm just. Okay. I'm, I'm just telling. Say, let's say that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm just telling that this is uh, the aspect. Uh, the aspect of ecclesiastical life which is somehow let's yeah, I would say neglected uh, or needed in one way or another I'm not telling about of course revolutionary uh, uh, way of thinking I'm just just saying about being being uh, being uh, always always new the way let's say the, the way the way we every, every time meet Christ in church in different way or we every time we meet each other we meet in different ways so I'm not speaking about uh, uh, some kind of uh, change for itself or, or art for, for art I mean I'm just uh, I'm just thinking what what uh, why why art is uh, very important and uh, and what what it brings to ecclesiastical life i mean artistic just our artistic behavior we can we can define we can call it in different ways it's uh as as i said it's needed it's also needed in liturgy it's very very strange but it's somehow somehow there always as we said okay you're calling everybody to be artists to be creative and to live life creatively of course, I mean uh, this. Uh, this sounds this sounds quite prosaic, <laughs> at, at, uh, uh, but uh, at the first glance, uh, uh, of course, this is not the only aspect of church art and not the only aspect of church life. Of course, I'm not tell telling this, but uh, this is uh, the thing. This is the aspect that we sh we can we should we can talk about here and actually um, there is also uh, uh, maybe maybe this this can be connected with uh, with uh, uh, with our our way way of being icons icons of, of God God's God's uh, images I mean uh, being being 
Can I say something? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I don't want to be creative at all. <laughs> I, I would okay. prefer I would prefer to be more functional. Well, I would say that creati creativity against functionality. You say it is against functionality? Uh, sometimes, or usually it is. Usually it is. Trying well, to get, try, trying to create something new um uh, sometimes or usually almost we're always losing, yes we're losing functionality yes i i i i would agree with this but the, i don't I, this i think that this way of thinking you know thinking you know uh, uh, art as creativity it's a very western way of thinking which is okay. I, I don't. I don't blame any any Western thing. That's fine. Okay. I, I don't have any problem. But it's a specific way of thinking. I'm afraid, or I suppose, or I think that uh, there are different ways of thinking on art. From that, not create, but function. That which it's that not that's not eliminate or yes. exclude creativity, Hopes. but that's this not is... that's not the main that's not the focal point. It's not the create creativity, the new creation, it's not the focal point, it's not the aim, it's not the goal. The goal is functionality, the functionality okay, I, I, I not do agree. creativity. Okay, okay, I do agree with this. I do agree with this totally. Uh, though uh, I, I would add that uh, those two cannot live without each other. You know, uh, no. uh, we should we cannot divorce them. I mean, the creativity and functionality. Yeah. I would not. I uh, uh, I would not uh, like uh, to make an opposition of those two. I think there is. Uh, our world there is a there is an I there is an art which which can do both I think and, and I I don't for example I don't think that your art lacks cre creativity so <laughs> it's, well, that's uh, okay it's, that's, an, that's another issue that's another issue but but uh, I, I think that it, it's good to start yeah, yeah, thinking to start thinking on a basis we need a basis after that, okay. we can find everything. We can build something, but we need a basis. And I, I think that functionality is a good basis as a starting point. Yes, we, maybe, maybe it is. It is. Uh, uh, it is uh, okay to to say. Uh, maybe I could agree even that functionality is uh, the, the priority because actually the creativity is something that is usually exists you know people people usually do need this but on the other hand we have the experiences that shows that creativity can be systematically um, let's say uh, denied or or almost forbidden we had this experience in ecclesiastical art so uh, uh, it's not quite natural to have creativity. So it, uh, we have also, we cannot, uh, you know, uh, we can start with functionality, I agree. And uh, we can say that creativity uh, exists in every, every one of us, but uh, we cannot allow uh, to say that creativity is uh, something that is not needed because then we will have results, I think, which are not quite, uh, uh, which we can. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's, let's say that we don't care about it. Uh, can I yeah, raise yeah. my voice? No, and I, would, just... I, would say, I would say it like this. Let's say we have, we, we have- I have think that we don't have, we don't have other, the time is over. Yeah, no, it's not a question it's over. We can talk another, 
I don't know, hour and more, because I just saw the notice, Zoom has allowed you to talk as long as you want. But I think we can leave something for the future. Yes, exactly. So if you don't mind, we can start next time from the functionality and creativity and how yeah. they two go together. Sorry okay. for being rude and like con good. concluding no, no, the yeah, discussion, yeah, yeah. I, I, but I thank everybody for participation and I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It is happening. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's happening. Yes, that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is very good. Actually, actually, we are continuing what what we started at symposiums. So this is br brilliant, in my opinion. I'm very happy, and we have more time to discuss. Actually, yes, we are yeah. not limited with yes tickets and everything. So now I am stopping the register.